Hello and welcome to another video and today is going to be a sick one unless you don't like houses in which case it's going to suck. So I said the other day I haven't done a house update in about 30 years. The reason being we got planning permission ages ago like legit four five months ago. Yeah. A long time ago and uh, we wanted to draw a contract up with the builders so they wouldn't mug us off. To draw a contract up we had to make a plan of the entire house like every single finite detail wanted to be in the house. It is done though. The package is complete. I would say it's the biggest package I've ever seen. But I think we all know That'll be a lie. Do you the camera, want to laugh? The camera to pointing laugh. down at this point. But yeah, the package is complete. The plans are in place. We know exactly how the house is going to look. We're waiting for the builders to get back to us. We then choose the builder and we begin. So today, I'm going to take you through the entire house, show you exactly as it is going to look. Spoiler alert, it's going to look unbelievably good. Oh, and in case you've been living under rock for the last week, you can now get a free trial on the Morsi app. So if you want to use the best fitness app in the world of all time, hands down, top link in the description. It is completely free for seven days. Go and sign up, join the team, make amazing progress. Okay, we begin at the front of the house, aka the main part of the house the yeah. front is the main part am yeah. i right so the architect's been killing himself trying to get this right we're finally in we're settled we're done it's going to look sick so basically look at it now i mean it's quite bad, I think we can all agree that. It's gonna be, uh, when it's done, like a hit and miss cladding thing. So it's like glass, wood, glass, wood, glass, wood in the middle. Then like bricks, either side. Yeah. Bricks, I, I mean, I, why am I doing this? I'm the, I've no descriptive. Luca's just run off. Luca, Luca, what are you doing? Luca, how's the front of the house gonna look when it's finished? Like that. Like that? He doesn't know what they're talking about. By the way, Mara, as we says, his dad, we haven't just like abandoned him. Well, we have abandoned him, but with like a responsible ride up. Kind of hard to film and Yeah, I mean, carry like, a like Luke can get involved, Mauro is a baby. He's going to offer nothing to this video. So, yeah, long story short, it's going to look sick. Right, let's go inside. Right, the door is jammed. We're going for quite an unorthodox door opening mechanism on the new house, something like this. That was overly aggressive. So, new state of the art entry system. Let's go up there. Through. Basically, if you didn't see the last video, which was like six months ago, we have completely gutted the, I say we, the builders have completely gutted the entire house. It is an absolute wreck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Luke, you're going to be so dusty. Luke, what? Oh my goodness. This is like the dustiest surface in the world. And you're wearing black. <laughs> Talking of what you're wearing, what are you wearing? Oh, probably thinking, Matt, where are these incredible jeans from? How can I accentuate my butt cheeks in the same way you have? Two words, legend, London, there, amazing, that's five, four words. Uh, link in the description. I get all of my jeans to have been doing so for about five years. Luca, on a scale of one to 10, how good is legend London? <laughs> 20 pounds. <laughs> 20 pounds, okay, doesn't make sense, but yeah. They do women's stuff as well, so go and get involved. Couldn't recommend them enough. Anyway, on with the house tour. So, key bit of information, first things first. The door is gonna move. It's currently weirdly positioned over to the right. We're gonna centralize it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Centralize, so it's gonna be over here. Hey, Luke, it's right my... <laughs> this is an absolute hazard, Luca, let go of that. It's my swing. It's not a swing, it is a cable. You're gonna die. No, it's my so you come through. All, all the electricity is off <laughs> in the house. <laughs> <laughs> right. So the entrance hall will be here. Uh, you'll come in through the front door. It's gonna be a massive full height thing. It's gonna look sick with the cool little seating bit. The stairway's gonna be nuts, like a cool little wooden like vibe. We had like loads of different options for the stairs. It's really hard to choose, yeah. isn't it? So basically, as well as the architect, it's been amazing, but we also had some interior designers on board because there's like so many decisions. There is no way we'd have the time and just the mental capacity to plan like every single facet. It's way easier someone coming to you and saying what do you prefer a b or c than just trying to generate it from scratch uh, also going to have a massive mirror there and then like built-in cupboards kind of like along here where you can sit down do your shoes other sitting down based jobs where we came in initially it's going to be my office aka the greatest room in the house come and look at this bad boy so currently we have a boiler and a toilet. We're going to replicate some of the elements of the gym. So the big Morsi logo, the acoustic panelling. This gonna is going to be extended, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So this will basically come out so that the, if we go back through this door here. So you can see at the moment, obviously the house kind of like juts around here. We're going to square this off. It's just way more satisfying and obviously gives us a much bigger space. So we're going to have desks running along this wall and then down there. I'll be able to sit looking out the window and then also go off to the side. We'll have like built-in storage for lights and cameras. Right, Luca, this is going to be the games slash cinema room. What is the main element of this room? Take it away. Bird, a seagull, and then. Sorry, whoa, 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 sorry. You, can't I... just, you can't just say that. Well, my, the, your bedroom's going to be in a seagull. Is that what you said? Yes. What is and that, what? when it's the morning, then I'll go 
off the seagull, Tom wants the room, and then slide them slide it right into the games room. What a film? I don't know, something like. <laughs> Mate, you have actually <laughs> lost it. He's lost it. Um, yes, yeah, so this will be in the games room. We're gonna have a massive screen like TV over up and watch Arsenal games. It's gonna be amazing. Like fitted sofas around here. Uh, and we have so this is actually... this is gonna be knocked down this wall. Yeah, right? this wall will be gone. We're gonna knock it down like right now. No, we can't do that. Yeah, we'll go huge all the way back there. We're actually legit gonna have a slide that runs down here behind the TV wall. Probably gonna regret that, but it'll be fun for like two weeks. So this will be a toilet here, yeah? Yeah, uh, I mean, what? Yeah, it's a toilet and that's essentially it. I said it in the last video, pretty much every wall you see here is gonna be gone or at the very least moved. We're just gonna completely open it up. So when you come in through the main entrance, you go straight through, there'll be a massive kind of entrance way that goes down into the front room, living room, and You should be able to see like the garden. Yeah, yeah, it will look sick, loads of light. So if we go straight through here, this is just gonna be one enormous open space. So that will be glass pretty much the whole way across here. It's gonna be nuts, like I'm so, that is the, the most exciting part of the house for me. In terms of the layout, we're gonna have like a little snug bit down here. So we'll have sofas around there. Again, more of that acoustic paneling because it looks friggin' sick. This is gonna be the world's greatest fireworks. We've had a few fireplace options. Again, the architect was killing himself trying to find a sick one. I think we've settled on one. We'll offer a bit of segregation. So like separate the little snug area from the main open bit. We're gonna have like a window seat down here. More sofas and stuff? Yep. You should definitely be doing this house, Dottie. You know? <laughs> a big kind of dining table here. Yeah. With lights coming down. Is yeah. That thing? Oh, that boy is going to be going up. I think I said in the last video, but yeah, this will be going, this will be knocked out so it goes right up to the ceiling. So that should look sick. Should make it look nice and make it feel nice and open and airy. And then down here, we have obviously the kitchen. By the way, I said about the hit and miss padding earlier, this is how it's going to look. So we've got the Oh my god, I've ruined it. We've got the cladding here, you'll have the glass in between, and then obviously the solid bits of cladding. It's gonna look sick. We also have the external brickwork here. We have the render, that is a sample of the render. And then we have the tiles that are gonna be all over the roof. I mean, Our architect has been an absolute hero. Basically, we weren't sure it's so hard to choose like what tile you want, what brickwork you want. He made all these samples up. He's put, like, he's killed himself. He's put about 4,000 hours of work into this project. Definitely couldn't recommend him enough for any, like, you want to build something or design something. Frame Architect, I'll put a link in the description to his Instagram. Honestly, sick, sick guy. So the kitchen is going to be sick. We're going to have, like, a... Remember, that all's going, so it'll be more that Yeah, way. so again, as with the office bit at the front, we're going to knock this through so that it goes right down and squares off, so we'll have a lot more space here. You'll have like a fitted kind of bit along here. Big breakfast bar, almost like cut out of stone, right? It's gonna look pretty sick. The floor, by the way, as well. So this whole floor in this entire expanse, the whole way down, basically the entire ground floor of the house is gonna be like polished cement kind of vibe. Like, I'm excited, I have mainly because it will look sick. Secondly, because I can get a wheelie chair and just wheel around really fast anywhere I wanna go. We'll have a utility room slash plant room around here somewhere. I'm not like, not like plants as in like a greenhouse. <laughs> yeah, plant as in like, Boy it is a plant room, yeah, just housing like boiler, water-based water stuff. Um, probably not worth delving into that too much, but yeah, it's gonna be as good as a plant utility room can be, I guess. Let's get upstairs. Luca, you coming upstairs? Luca, upstairs, let's go, mate. Here's the asbestos scene. Yeah, so I just remember, like, there was obviously a signal in there. Basically, this used to be a garage. Uh, it transpired that there was asbestos. There was asbestos all over that. Guys had to come and rip it out, which is annoying, but handy, because obviously if we start building and they find this person, it's gonna put a massive delay on everything. So it's good that that's gone. So like I said at the beginning, the stairway is gonna move. It will be on that central uh, entrance way. You go straight up and there'll be a massive open thing. It will look sick. It is currently like, I mean, if you thought downstairs was a wreck, like look at this, mate. Absolutely, looks like a friggin' World War II bomb site. This will be our bedroom. You get a better idea of it now because it's like all ripped open. It's going to be sick. So here, says mate, get you're getting too excited. Get back. Okay. This will be the kind of entrance bit slash walk-in wardrobe. We're going to have wardrobes the whole way along here, utilising this space. Pretty clever, I know. This will be the ensuite. It's going to go. Uh, it's going to go sink here toilet and then like a kind of built-in shower. Sears is a creep, she likes having like a shower in a cave, so rather than being open, it's gonna be kind of like housed off, but it should look sick. Look, any thoughts on the ensuite? Cool, then we go back into here, and we have the bedroom, boy! So, uh, massive bed here. This, again, is gonna be ripped out, so it goes right up to the top, and the sickest thing, mate, that, it's gonna be all glass. So just imagine, just picture, I, can, I mean, I can show you right now. Glass that goes right up to the point 
Like it's gonna look so good. View's gonna be amazing. I can walk around naked so everyone in the local area can see me. Perfect. Oh, and I get a little vanity thing around oh, yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, So like, there's like a, what is it? Like a big kind of wall bit here, bed here, and then you go round behind, and there'll be like a little desk with a little vanity like. Let's makeup. be honest, you're gonna be there more than me doing your hair. <sighs> yeah, probably like 50-50, I'd say. Okay, so back around here we've got the main guest room, which will be here. We're putting an ensuite in here, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So bed, and then ensuite will be here. Behind the ensuite will be like a washing room. What do you even call that? Right over where the stair is. What is that called? That's it. Laundry room. So literally here in this bit here. Obviously that will be floor. There'll be a laundry room there, which will be handy AF. Like I said in the last video, like laundry rooms, like washing machines, are always downstairs, and yet generally you declothe yourself upstairs. So that's just going to cut um, out undress, the middleman. Undress. <laughs> yeah. Back out into the hallway. You're going to have the main bathroom here, which will be like. I don't know, a bathroom. I mean, it's currently occupied by about 400 bits of wood from our, what was our bedroom. You have a sit shower down the end, a bath, or some like heated mirrors so they don't steam up. That's gonna be a theme throughout the whole house. The plan is basically just to make it like as good as we can. Like what I don't wanna do is get it done, move in, and then think like, oh, I wish I'd done this. We're gonna go balls out and just make every element like as sick as I can possibly get and it. Bankrupt ourselves in the process. Luca? <laughs> Luca, what are you doing? So right now I'll be floating like in the air and like literally because I'm going to buy one of those jetpacks so I will actually be able to float around. I like this room. This room's going to be cool. Yeah, this is cool. So this is going to be like possibly Malrose room initially we're saying. Oh no, I don't know. No. 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 <laughs> what? When do you run this past me? Why not? You just don't listen to where's any he, of where's the gonna, Where's he going to be then? In that other room over there. That's Luca's room. Oh, no. the other. Oh, okay, right. Yeah. <laughs> this would be just like a spare room, possibly like a studio of some kind. Cool window. Again, the theme from the house is just like the windows, the glass. We're going to have about 400 million bits of glass, but it's going to look so cool. If so you open, are a glazier so and you're watching this video, if you do glass, if you're a glazier of some kind, just like hit me up because we need a lot of glass. So, yeah, if you're creative and you're happy to make weird shaped windows and stuff with minimal frames, get involved. Yeah, it's going to be like an extremely satisfying design. This room It's going to look cool. Like, I'm going to be jealous we've gone for like natural textures like around the whole house we tried to keep like a theme so it's not crazy different in all different yeah, rooms yeah, yeah. moving on luca it's your time to shine explain how your room is gonna look three two one go a bed starting on the bed okay yeah so the bed is gonna be like go all the way around there and then next to it then there's going to be like a Huge, huge desk. Going right across here. Maybe right around the room. Where I could put all of my cool stuff on. Probably my dinos. And that's all I can say. <laughs> okay, good. It's really good. And then the final room, which is going to be Mauro's. Well, it's going to be Mauro's room potentially. It's here. Yeah, yeah, like through that so where we, above your office. Yeah, where I said we're extending the house for the office, the bit above that that we're going to create is going to be Mauro's room. It's quite a weird shaped room. It's really pitched. Yeah. Well, like this is where it's really good that we had like. So the interior design. designers have done an absolute mad bomb with that room. Basically, we, we were kind of struggling with what to do with it because it is a strange shape. And like in terms of storage, how are you going to get wardrobes in there? They came up with a sick solution of kind of raising the floor, raising like a platform. The bed goes on and thus creating loads of storage underneath. It's going to be incredible. So Ben and Tatiana, big shout out to those guys. They've done a great job with the interior design. Mummy and Daddy, go down into the room that's below this room. Why are you saying that? Because I've got a feeling it's because you want to drop some rocks on my head, is that right? No, drop some rocks on your feet to right. make all of your shoes dusty. Okay, I don't. And then go down there. I don't trust you. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> this will be the main hallway here now. I had some concerns before about it looking a bit like a like a hotel with all the kind of like I don't know symmetrical doors. And stuff. I think we've kind of done it in a way now that it looks really cool, so I'm happy with it. Let's quickly head downstairs and show you the back of the house. Luca, come on. All right, watch your step here. I feel like you're going to get a rock on your head. Oh yeah, that's true. Don't. Right, Luca. Luca, do not throw. <laughs> do not throw a rock on my head. I'm not going anywhere near the hole. Right, just run, run, get out. Right, I feel bad, Luca was desperate to throw rocks at us, so we're gonna just humor him to an extent. Right, ready, Luca? <laughs> I can see you, but I don't wanna look up because I don't wanna get a rock in my face. I'm ready. <laughs> right, that's it. I'm downstairs now, you absolute weirdo. Like 
the least child friendly place in the world right now. Right, outside, outside. Outside, outside. So in terms of the back of the house, obviously we're gonna have two main, or two entrances. We're gonna have one big one here where the sliding doors open, and then one big one down here at the kitchen. I guess we'll probably use that one mostly, you think? Because it'll be like central. And in terms of the actual back of the house, you can see how it looks now. Like it's kind of cool. I, can't, I do quite like the shape of it, but we're gonna, uh, yeah, change it pretty dramatically. It's gonna look like this. So pretty much completely glass spanning the entire back of the house. A way more kind of unified form, I guess, because we're gonna change the roof and stuff. Like this is one of the parts of the house that I'm most excited to see. Like it's crazy seeing it in the render and stuff. Obviously, I like I know how it's gonna look, but it's hard to get my head around. That's actually how my house is gonna look when it's done. So it will be insane to see it actually come together. In terms of the back, like the garden floor area we're not fully sure where we're going to go with that there will be obviously a patio of some kind like a kind of play area for Luca and Mauro and then some seating but yeah we'll kind of finalize that as we get uh, into the actual build itself the other end of the garden by the way we have a potentially mad plan to go here we're waiting fingers crossed for that to go through if it does I'll make a video on it because it's going to be next level and that obviously is the gym and speaking of the gym I need to pay it a visit so I'll see you down there and I'm down here, least justified transition. In the history of YouTube, I've moved like five meters, but I've changed clothes, so swings and roundabouts. I'm about to do some squats and deadlifts. Sessions are gonna be fueled by this, which is Excite Energy. It's my pre-workout of choice, like for the day-to-day -day sessions. I'm not a big actual pre-workout user. I use like legit pre-workout maybe, I don't know, once every couple of months, just like before big kind of PR type sessions. So for my run-of-the-mill sessions, this is my go-to. Just a good amount of caffeine, not an enormous amount of carbonated liquid so it doesn't kill me before I squat. It tastes nice and it's not full of artificial crap. So link to Excite Energy in the description. Definitely recommend going to pick some up. For now, I've got a train. Let's commence. Yeah. Raising the Tobago's, we growing like fresh tomatoes. Them boys on fire, two fuego. We pass it round, hot potato. Everything is new wavo. I'm with my sweetie like Quavo. Need my cheese, need that queso. Need my bread, need that bankroll. Wake up, yes, Lord, I'm thankful. What no okay, that's what I was done. Feeling pretty good, or not pretty good, but like not bad, like better than I felt last week. That's the main thing, making improvements. So now I'm moving into week two of my own powerlifting plan, which is called Matt's Plan on the Morsi app. By the way, if you want to follow along with me, train with me, get strong AF with me and why wouldn't you because you can get a free seven day trial top link in the description today is a fairly unexciting session in fact it's the same session we did last week so apologies for that basically it's a volume day squat and deadlift volume day so squats we're going to go for sets of seven at 182 and a half kilograms a slight increase again keeping the rp nice and low nice and conservative accumulating volume building a base let's, let's begin rack it up rack it up i got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house shake it up shake it up she got her hands on her knees and she bringing a cake out Smoke it up, smoke it up, I got some gas, some packs, I'm up in the greenhouse Ball it up, ball it up, I'm with the gang, we taking shots off the rebound Fuckin' my post to say now, I've been humble too long, yeah Tell them all to stay calm, yeah, tell them all to move on, yeah Fuckin' my post to say now, they be lost in the sauce, yeah Took a loss, that's your love Okay, squat's done, that felt good, like really good, like way better than last week Feel like I'm starting to get a little bit of my groove back Although obviously the weight was very light, I'm now gonna rest for a little bit then move on to deadlifts, it'll be the same thing. Volume, sets of seven, I'm gonna go for 215 kilograms. Smoking that dope from Edmund, we the new meth in Redmond. We ain't real blood, but we bread drinks. Run up a check and it's pending. She talking my news, we'll send them. Fuck with the fam, you a dead man. Jesus, peace on my pendant. And we still independent. ISO, yeah, we trending. Watch what you say, don't offend them. They keep in the realm, they commend them. And that is deadlifts done, that is training done, and that is the video done. I need to go home and assist with the child care of my children. Um, I hope you're as excited for the new build and the associated videos as I am. It's going to be absolutely nuts to see it all come together. Hopefully, fingers crossed, in the next month or two, building should be underway. Um, that is the video done. If you enjoyed it, guys, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow. Uh -huh.